guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the first video of 2022 that I'm filming. I have a vlog um, that I started filming too, but we're going to do some updates in this video because a lot has happened at the beginning of 2022 to me that um, it's very unfortunate and um, yeah, which is the difference. This is why the couch is here. This is why you see garbage behind me, which I keep doing every video. This is why things look a bit different. So I am going to use some new products today um, and I'll talk about them as well. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first product that I bought yesterday, because I did some retail therapy, um, was the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation um, in the shade Neutral One Neutral. This is the packaging, very pretty. Um, I will probably do a full review on this, but some of the claims are a bit, um, hasty, I guess you could say, like, you know, undetectable coverage, which may be, but like, boost hydration up to 166%, and looks plumper and smoother by up to 181%, like, there's a lot of stuff in here, uh, that's very interesting. So, we'll see how this looks. So, normally, I don't even know what my other shade is in this, but... I think it might be the either one or two neutral. Um, I did see my friend Alana review this and she said that it was a bit warm toned. So we'll see how it looks. But I'm gonna use this e.l.f. sponge with it. And I'm gonna use it how I always use my other foundations. So I'm just gonna, okay. So, I just use a bit, that's the texture. Get on my whole sponge. I'm wearing, and I actually just bought this too, the Biosense Omega Repair Cream. Um, and I really like it so far. I had tried the Biosense Lactic Acid, but I don't know. I think it either broke me out or I just like didn't use it in time and it expired. But I kind of want to try it again because I'm thinking now that I've used the moisturizer and liked it. I mean, it's only been like two days, but... And I'm also really sweaty because this brings me to my next topic. Um, if my apartment, okay, wait, let's just look at it. Oh, wow, it looks nice. Looks very nice. Looks very nice indeed. Now, I didn't use too much because I don't use a lot of foundation. Um, but in my review, I'll definitely use a lot more. Um, but I do like that this comes in a pump, so that's exciting. Um, so my apartment. So basically, I came home on January 1st, and on Monday, January 3rd, a pipe burst in my apartment. So I was actually at the mechanics getting my car safety, and behold, a pipe has burst. I got a call while I was there, so I came back home. Um, it wasn't like super bad. It was just like not great. Like a lot of my stuff got, you know, waterlogged and I had to throw a lot of stuff out, but like for the most part, my stuff was safe. Chester's stuff was okay. Uh, for the most part, like I did throw out a lot of his toys and stuff. Um, but yeah, so basically that was the beginning of my year. So I literally was home for like two days. I went back to my parents because like my place was kind of a disaster. And then I came back he here, but while so I was at home and while I was at home um I was going to get my laundry that I was did while I was there because everything was wet um and I fell down the stairs well okay so at my parents house there's like these two stairs so there's like the door and there's like a little area there's the downstairs and then there's these stairs to go up into the main area I fell down the stairs to the main area um twisted my ankle now because this was the day I was going back with my dad um, it's not that I didn't have a choice, but like, I was basically like, well, I have to get back somehow. It's not my driving foot. Um, but yeah, it was very painful. Like I have done this before on my other foot, like a few times, but I think because I did so much work that day that I hurt it, um, it was like the size of a golf ball. Did I go to the doctor? No, <laughs> I didn't because it just didn't, it's not broken. Um... So that's kind of like slowed down the healing process a bit just because like now I don't really have like, um, like I didn't rest it when I should have. 
kind of thing. So the next day I just didn't do anything. Like I just kind of sat on the couch. I did like a few things. Like I kind of like puttered around a bit. Um, so yeah, it's still, it's still quite sore even right now. It's kind of like sore sitting here, but it's kind of extending my foot. Um, but yeah, so that was the, um, start to my 2022. Um, so I am hoping that maybe some good things come my way. Like, you know, unfortunately I do have to replace a few things, but I mean, it's also a fun opportunity to go shopping. You can see that I redecorated. So my couch used to be on that wall. I put it over here. Um, because I bought a bookshelf to go kind of back there. Um, but yeah, so that's been the disaster that's been my life. I had to tell my boss and I felt so bad because I was like, look, I'm usually not this much of a mess. I'm not the person on the team with this much of a mess, but uh, I, I was. And I don't internet right now, which is another um, thing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna link all the products below. This is the L'Oreal bronzer. This was actually Jessica Braun's recommendation. I got this last year, um, so I'm pretty fair, and so is she, so. Okay, the glow that that foundation gave my skin, though, I'm also really sweaty because this is the other thing, is that now that the pipe had burst, they turned my heat up a lot, and then I don't want to turn it off because I want to make sure that the water is running through, but I also run hot, so anyway, I've really been trying to balance Huh, I never noticed how nice this bronzer looks, the temperature. Um, but yeah. I do like the setup better though because I can sit on the edge of my, edge of my couch and I can maybe put something cute back there for a background that, um, <laughs> that, that isn't the garbage bags that I haven't taken down because my foot is sore. And I also have to build, if you can see back there, my shelf, but my foot is sore. I don't know if I wanna do that. Anyway, um, so this is the bronzer. I really like this bronzer. Um, Anything Jessica Brown recommends, I'm I'm on it. Okay, it looks like there's a lot more on this side though, but I think it's just the lighting. Um, okay, so we're not gonna do anything like super significant today because like I think all I'm doing is I'm gonna go and pick up my charger for my friend and that's it. So I think I'm gonna do um, my blush next. So I have a MAC blush here, it's Warm Soul. Not the old one, but you know, it'll do. I kind of wish I got the old one though when like it was popular because I feel like that would have been really cool to have. Um, okay. I had to bring it across my nose. I like to just kind of pop it in there. Okay, it looks nice. So the next part that I bought was this Extra Dimension Skin, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. Um, and I read on their website, so this is packaging I read on the website that um this is meant to be like a liquid powder highlighter so it is actually like supposed to feel like a liquid so it's actually supposed to feel like a liquid on the skin um oh my god it's so pretty so I was gonna get a whisper of guilt um I'm gonna bring a highlighting brush but I really want to go get one so we're just gonna use this powder brush here um, again, Alana Davison or Alana Rama on here. Oh, that's very pretty. I think had Whisper of Guilt. Now, this one is like a beige shift. Oh, that's pretty, very pretty, very pretty indeed. I like that. Um, and the Whisper of Guilt was a pale champagne. Um, but if I do like this formula, I might get another one. I, um, I've actually been kind of like looking for a powder highlighter that, like I really do like the Becca one, but there are some points where it's like, I don't know, it just isn't the highlighter that I kind of want. I'll try and like lean in here a bit. My hair is also super greasy because I haven't washed it in a few days, so ignore that. So the next thing that I'm gonna use is the Auric, um, this is the Auric Smoke Reflect in Temper. So I had actually done a review of this on my blog and I'll actually link it below, um, where I kind of compare this to like other things that um, I have in my collection. 
And this isn't a bad product. I just don't necessarily think that it's, I don't wanna say it's not worth it, but it's just like, you probably can get, honestly, for the same price, you could get a Charlotte Tilbury one, um, except like then obviously like you're not supporting Sam, which is fine. Um, this is Sam Ravendahl's brand. She's a YouTuber content creator on here. And I really like her. Like Sam is like one of my favorite YouTubers. I really can't see what I'm doing because I didn't bring out a mirror. And it is very pretty. It's very pretty. Um, it is very pretty, but I just like, again, oh, she's a little mirror on here. There's a little mirror on here. Thank God. Yeah, it is really pretty. And then there's like this smoke reflect, I guess, or it's like a glitter that you put on top of the shadow and it like kind of glitterifies it, which like, obviously I love that. Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh wow, my skin looks so flawless. I'm like looking in like this tiny mirror. It looks so flawless from, from that foundation. Holy shit. I'm gonna see, this is the look. I might put more bronzer on this side or like just kinda. Bronzer is getting a bit patchy on me. So that's the face. And then now I'm just gonna do um, this mascara. I'm gonna do it off camera though because I literally cannot see this far from the camera, from the, my phone actually. So I'm just gonna open it. BRB. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just use a Maybelline Colossal Mascara. This is actually the washable one, so I really like it because it actually comes off with water, and that's pretty rare for a Maybelline mascara, and it's, you know, it doesn't really curl my huge, you know, hugely straight lashes, um, but it's fine. So the next product that I bought is... So the next product that I bought is the Gloss Shot. Hydrating Lip Shine by Kaja, and it is in the shade Honey Drizzle. And you guessed it, I saw Jamie Page use this, and I had to have it. So, let me just, uh... Oh. Mmm. Oh, it feels nice. Wow, that is so nice. Wow, that's so nice. So let me just move you in closer and show you the final look. So this is the final look. I'm just hand holding it. I uh, am loving this foundation so far. It is a really nice finish, really natural. And I do really like that highlighter. You're seeing me from the, from the sky. Mm, and this lip gloss. Yeah, liking it. Um, but basically, you know, everything's fine. We're back in the apartment, me and Chester. Um, I don't really know what this week is going to bring. I was supposed to get my modem tomorrow. I was supposed to have internet back. Thank God. I, you know, I never realized how much I relied on the internet until I didn't have it. And especially because my foot is hurt. I can't do the things that I would normally do without internet. Like I would go for a nice long walk or... You know, I would go shopping, which like I can still kind of do shopping, but it's it's not as it's not as fun because I can't move very fast. Um, but yeah, I am just uh, I'm just excited to be back, and I had that support. Um, you know, I'm I'm I don't really have any expectations for this year for 2022, um, not because of my whole sitch, but just because I really don't like I'm not really sure what's gonna happen this year. I do have some goals. Um, but I don't necessarily have much else, um, many expectations. My half marathon training is now put on hold because of the whole foot thing, which is so annoying. Um, but yeah, I think I just want to, you know, continue growing in my career and in life. Um, and hopefully I am able to, um, I don't know, travel somewhere this year, even if it's just within Canada, I'd love to do that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.